Alright, now that you have soft uh, state 1 to 2, let us have a look at your next uh, process, uh, which is from your state 3 to 4, and then we are going to solve for your straight 3 to 5, because all this state is actually this isentropic process, where your state S3 is equal to your S4S, and as for this one, your S4 over here is equal to your S5S. So let's solve for your state 3 to 4, which is, this is an isentropic expansion. Because only isentropic process, where having the same value of S, then only you can make use of these uh, relations. So you have the one that you are looking for is your T4S because why? Your T3 is already given over here where the completion of your combustion process that produces 700 degree C. So this will become uh, supposed to be P4 over your P3 gamma minus 1 Oh, sorry, it's not gamma. We are using k minus 1 over k. Now, as you can see here, the definitions of this one should be the ratio between max and minimum. So you have this value of 5 over here. However, this right now is in the state of intermediate pressure. Therefore, you need to solve uh, to find your P4 first. Uh, you have no problem with your P3 because P3 can be all, is uh, the same uh, pressure as P2. So, in order to find your P3, you are going to use P2 over P1, which is equal to 5. And given to you your P1. It's actually 101 kilopascal. So therefore, it will gives you P3 equal to P2 equal to 505 kilopascal. So now, you can uh, place your value of P3 into this one in order to find your T4S. But still, you need to solve for this P4 first. You need to get the value of P4, then only you can solve for your T4S. So it seems like we are going round in circle. But let's have a look at your TS diagram over here. So the T4S is the one that we are looking for. If seems that we cannot find it from this equation because we are lack of your P4. Let's have a look into the other possibility that we have in here or perhaps the one that we have in here. So if you see, 3 to 4S is actually your high pressure turbine and if you look back at your physical diagram over here, the wall of your high pressure turbine is equal to the wall of your compressor. So, if you make use of this relation, perhaps it will give you the value of your T4S or maybe your T4A. So, let's have a try first. Alright, from the relations of this high pressure turbine and the work of your compressor, you will have the work of your compressor is equal to the work of your high pressure turbine and if you expand this will be in between CP your T2A and your T1 we are going to consider the actual value because assuming that this is already happening in the, in the plant I mean in the marine uh, engine so this is your T2A minus with your T1 is equal to your CP 
and your hydride pressure depends between 3 and 4, 4s but in this case we are going to consider your actual value so this is T3 minus your T4a so because the CP is the same value so we are going to cancel your CP so let's have a look here the one that we are looking for or the only unknown that's left in this this is this equation is actually your T4a so if we rearrange this thing it will give you T4a is equal to T3 minus your T2a plus with your T1 and finally we get the T4a is equal to 755.5 Kelvin now that you have your T4A, this is actually can be substituted into your uh, efficiency of your high pressure turbine in order for you to get your T4S because in that equations only that will give you this T4S and so once you get your T4S over here then only you can solve this equation and finally you will obtain your P4 Alright, so let's solve for this Isentropy efficiency of your high pressure turbine which is equal to the work of actual over the work of isentropy and it is equal to CP T3 minus your T4A over with your CP T3 minus your T4S which is equal to 0 0.80 so you cancel out the CP term and you arrange this mathematical form so you have your T4S is equal to your T3 minus with your T3 minus T4A over 0 0.80 which will give you 701.1 Kelvin so now that you have your T4S which is 701 Kelvin and you have your P3 is equal to 505 kilopascal so you plug in into this equation then you will have your P4 P4 over your P3 is equal to um, T4S over your T3 K over K minus 1 and your P4 is equal to your P3 T4S over T3 K minus and finally your P4 is equal to 160.4 kilopascal so you can check whether you are in the right track or not so given to your p1 is 101 kilopascal so it must be the lowest pressure over here and your highest pressure here which is p2 equal to p3 which is equal to 505 kilopascal and the intermediate part should be in a range of between these two and you have 160 which is slightly higher than your P1 over here but lower than your P3 or P2 over here so basically you are in the right range